Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be playing with some new makeup, trying some old makeup as well. So if you want to see how I achieve this makeup look, then please keep watching. Okay guys, so to start this look, I'm going to be going in with the Lawless, the little one, um, eyeshadow palette. It's talc free. So this is a new eyeshadow palette. I actually bought it a long time ago, but I forgot I bought it. So I'm excited to try it today. To start, what I'm going to do is just take um, my Sigma E, what is this, E40 um, blending brush. So I'm going to take this color here. So this is called, um, you know what's weird? They actually don't match up on the back, like if I flip it. So it says this color is called Plunge Matte Black. No, it's not. It's Clutch Peachy Matte Brown. So this is the clutch color. So I'm just going to take that color on my blending brush. And right away, you can see that there's some fallout, and I just dipped my brush in. So I'm just going to tap some of that excess product off. And I'm going to work this right into my crease. actually really pigmented um, more pigmented than I expected it to be so I'm just gonna blend this color I didn't realize the intensity that this would have okay so I'm just gonna even out the other eye okay so now that we have that color applied what I'm gonna do next is go in with this neutral brown tone and I'm going to take that on a clean blending brush and I'm going to take it on where's my brush I'm going to take it on this um, Morphe M514 so it's a little bit more tapered than that first blending brush brush that I was using and I'm going to put this right in the crease I guess I'm trying to go maybe for like a halo eye. I don't really know yet. Um, I'm just going to focus this color right on the crease. So I think I'm going to go in. I'm just testing this gold shade. It's pretty light. I'm going to take this kind of copper gold shade and I'm going to put this on my ring finger and put that color right over the eyelid. It's nice because it's pretty faint. It's not too intense of a gold. You know, if I'm comparing it to the Kylie cosmetic product um, product eyeshadow that I used in my previous video, this one's a bit more smoother in terms of consistency, and it just it's not as intense, which is nice. So if you don't like more of like an intense shimmer, this is something. That I think works pretty well. So what I'm going to do next is, so we're looking a little crazy right now. I'm going to take a clean blending brush and I'm going to go back in with that first shade that we were using just to kind of make sure everything blends seamlessly. I think I want to add a bit more drama, such a weird word, to the look. I think I think I'm gonna go in with the brown. Maybe I'm gonna mix the, there's like a very chocolate brown and black. I think I might mix those together and just put that on the outer corner of the eye. So I'm taking my Morphe M506 brush and I'm just dipping those two colors in together. So I'm kind of mixing them. And then I'm really focusing this just on the outer portion of the eye but this just created that gradual intensity that I wanted to add but not too much and then go back in with a blending brush one of the first ones we used and just keep blending this color out okay so I just zoomed out a little bit um, with my camera. So what I'm gonna do next is go in with some foundation just to clean up the eyelids a little. So today I'm gonna be using my NARS, um, found, oh my God, I got my fingers all dirty. My NARS foundation in Gobi. Uh, this is a light reflecting foundation. 
and I love this foundation. It is very similar to the Lady Gaga House Labs foundation. This one can be a tad messy if you're not careful. Um, so I'm just going to pump a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to clean up that shadow that we um, just applied. And I'm just going to go in with a flat concealer brush. And ever so slightly, I'm just kind of outlining that wing to clean up. And I'm just going to take a damp sponge and clean up what we just applied. Okay, so that looks good to me. What I'm going to do next is go in with mascara. I've never tried this mascara. It was that TikTok um, craze mascara, I guess I like to call it. Um, so it's the Maybelline New York Sky High Sensational Mascara. Again, one of the last ones on the bag wagon to try this. So. Let's see how it um, works. Oh, I thought it was a thicker brush. So it looks like it's a plastic bristle brush. I love volume. Um, so let's see what this promises. I think I got it in the color just black. Um, so I'm going to go in and start applying this mascara. There's no pretty way to put on mascara. So I'm just gently wiggling this mascara on. Not bad. I do feel like it is more of a wet formula. Like I got it on my um, eyelid, but that's okay. I'll wipe it off after. I do see this being more of a lengthening mascara. So if that's something you like, you might like this. Again, the formula isn't as dry as I thought it would be for whatever reason. Um, personally, I love volumizing mascaras a bit more though. This one's not bad. Um, I, like I said, I do feel like it's more of a lengthening. So it really does lengthen my lashes. Like they do look much longer than my real lashes. Well, they are my real lashes, but it's not bad. I don't know why I had such high expectations. Pretty generous too with my coats. So it really does give you those kind of like doll-like eyelashes if that's something you like. It doesn't really look like it clumps, which is good, but definitely separates and lengthens. I'll finish the under eyes after I put on my foundation. So with foundation, like I mentioned, I'm gonna go back in with that NARS. So I'm going to put in a pump on my, pump and a half I would like to say. Then I like to take my um, Drunk Elephant De Bronzy Drops. So I've had these for a while. This is the old packaging. I know they changed the packaging on this already. I love this product because you can add it to your foundations if you needed to make it a tint, tinge darker. Um, I'm pretty fair right now, but... I like to make my face look a bit more warmer than it actually is. So I'm just gonna apply this on my face. So this formula, if you're not familiar, it's pretty runny. Like the House Labs is definitely more of a little bit, I wouldn't say it's thick, cause it's not, but it's not as runny as the consistency of the NARS. Um, they're both great because I do think that you can really build them. And they just look so natural on the skin. I'd probably say this one's a little bit more of a sheer coverage than um, the House Labs. But you can definitely build it to a medium coverage. Yeah, so this is definitely more of a sheer coverage as you can tell. It didn't completely cover everything, which is fine. But it evened me out, um, even my skin tone out. And as always, I like to go in with a bit of concealer to add a bit more coverage. So for concealer today, I'm using this Milk Makeup Concealer in the color 5W. Uh, this is called Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer. Um, I heard this one had really nice reviews too, so I picked it up. I got the color 5W. That seems a bit dark. Uh, so let's see if it will work for me. So I'm going to go right in and put some under my eyes. Oh, well, it's pretty light. Should be okay never know in the store because the lights always kind of throw me off. Um, okay, so 
I'm just going to put some under my eyes. And I'm going to use um, a sponge to blend out the concealer. And we'll see. I'm going to get a closer mirror because I really can't see how it blends. Definitely hydrating. That's one thing I can say about this that I can see there's like a nice sheen. Covered beautifully though. Maybe more of a medium, like to medium coverage. I wouldn't say it's necessarily full. This concealer looks great. It's very, you know what, it blended beautifully. Like a dream. Wow. Um, I'd say definitely more of a light to medium coverage. A little bit more lighter coverage than the Kosas concealer, if I'm being totally honest. But I love the way it's sitting on my skin. Um, I don't think it's going to crease once I set it. I think it looks really good. I'm actually really impressed with everything today. Wow. Okay, what I'm going to go in with next is this Hourglass um, Mineral Translucent Setting Powder. So this is one of my favorites. I always rave about this one. You guys know I love it. So I'm just going to put some on a flat Real Techniques brush and set my makeup. So I'm just setting the under eye. as well as anywhere where I get shiny or oily, so the T-zone. Okay, what I'm gonna do next is warm the skin up. So I'm gonna take this Say Bronzer in Sun, the Sun Melt Say Bronzer Natural Cream Color Light Bronze. Uh, this is also something new that I picked up, oh my God, I can't open it, <laughs> a while ago. Um, okay, I got it now. And I think it has pretty good reviews, look at that. Cream bronze, can it replace the Chanel? I wanna see, I wanna try. So I'm gonna take a Sigma um, stippling brush and I'm just gonna put this product on the brush. I'm really excited to try this. So I just have to move my mirror. I'm gonna see if it's my new Chanel replacement. Oh wow, that looks really pretty. I'm just trying to blend it in my hairline, forehead. I want to say for some reason, it's a tad more warm than the Chanel Cream Bronzer. And it has a bit more of a glisten bit more but what I do like about it is how easy it just goes on the skin like it's so creamy so easy to blend it's not too thick I think that did a great job of warming up the skin can't say if it's my replacement yet though I can't guarantee that but I like it definitely more dewy than the Chanel. I'm going to go in with next is my Nude Sticks Cream Bronzer in Cherry. I used this one in my last video too. I really like this color. So I'm just going to go over that um, bronzer that we just applied. I feel like I can still use a little bit of bronze though. So what I'm going to do is take this Ilia bronzer in drawn in I've used this already before and I really like this because it just gives like a nice instant warmth to the skin okay so I grabbed this new blush from essence pure nude baked blush in the color bold heart I'm kind of looking at it now and I'm like damn I think it's too dark I don't know if I picked up the right shade, so we're gonna try. I heard these have a really good reviews as well. So I'm just gonna take this on a powdered brush. Oh my God, look at that pigment. That was literally one touch. So I might just tap some off the back of my hand. And I'm just gonna press this. Oh my God. <laughs> so pigmented. 
Oh god. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go and take the sponge and blend it out. I feel like it has a very smooth cream formula. It's very pigmented, so just use a light hand when you want to use it. I probably might buy another one, but in a shade not as pink. Maybe when I'm a little bit more tanned, I can get away with this. Um, but yeah, it's okay. It's not bad. I had to kind of tone it down a notch, but that's okay. What I'm going to do next is just finish the under eye area. So I'm going to take my small tapered blending brush and I'm going to mix these two brown shades that we used before and I'm just going to put this on my lower lash line. Okay, so I quickly jumped off camera. I added mascara to my bottom lashes and then I quickly filled my eyebrows in. What I'm going to do next is finish this look um, by finishing the lips. So I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury um, lip liner in Pillow Talk. This one I just digged up from somewhere, totally forgot about it. I do have just a clear Vaseline on my lips right now because they were so dehydrated. So I'm just lining my lips. So what I'm going to do next is go on with lipstick. So I'm going to take this MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy. This is the baby mini one. I love how they have these. Sometimes you just want a mini size and you don't want a full size lipstick. So they're great options. And last but not least, I'm going to go in with my setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, yeah, just uh, use this to set your makeup. And this is the final makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more beauty related content. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!